boys and girls, my name is Cassie, and today we will be experimenting with water, balloons, and fire. Now, before we begin this experiment, we need to talk about safety. And it's important that if you're going to conduct this experiment, you have adult supervision. Now, have you ever stuck a pin in a balloon that was filled with air? And it popped, of course. Well, what if we filled the balloon with water and instead of a pin, we used fire to pop the balloon? What exactly do you think will happen? Well, today's experiment is going to explain just that. What happens when we fill a balloon with water and hold it over a flame? Do you think it will burst or do you think it will stand its ground? Common sense tells us that it's impossible to boil water in a paper bag. But this classic parlor trick was a favorite of the Victorian magician. The real difficulty in performing this effect is making it look harder than it is. As you might imagine, the secret lies in yet another amazing property of water, its ability to conduct heat. Instead of using a paper bag, we're going to be using a balloon. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do our control experiment. So can I get a volunteer from the audience to blow up the balloon? Why, yes, you, sir, over there. You've got amazing lungs. Tie up the balloon. And we have our balloon. Next, we're going to take our lighter, put on our safety goggles. Remember, always have adult supervision when doing this experiment. I'm going to light the candle. We're going to ask our volunteer to hold the flame, hold the balloon closely to the flame and see what happens. And we're going to get closer and closer. Now, before we do this, uh, who out there can tell me what do you think is going to happen to the balloon when we put it near to the flame? Ah, yes, we will there. It's going to pop. Oh, yes, that's right. You think it's going to pop. Well, let's see what happens. Round and round the commoner's bench, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey box was all done, pop goes the weasel. All right. <laughs> so it pops, of course. Now let's repeat the experiment. But this time, in the bottom of the balloon, we're going to add a layer of water. We're going to take our water and our balloon, and we're going to fill it up with water. Filling up our balloon with water. You can see it's dripping with water. Then we're going to blow up the balloon. Now, as you can see, it's filled up with water. We're going to take our lighter, making sure we're wearing our safety goggles. We're going to light the candle. Again. Now, who out there can tell me what do you think is going to happen when we hold the flame close to the balloon? Ah, yes, you're, you're over there, young lady. Right, you think it's going to pop still? Well, we'll get a volunteer and see what happens. Um, any volunteers to hold the balloon close to the flame? No, no volunteers this time. Okay. Well. I'm going to be a brave person, and I'm going to put it near the flame. Let's see what happens. We're going to get closer. Nothing is happening. Wow, that's so weird. Oh my goodness. And as you can see, there's some soot on the bottom of the balloon. Get a closer look. I wonder what happened. That's so weird. Who out there can tell me what they think happened and why the balloon didn't pop when the first time it popped? Water is a great substance for soaking up heat. The thin balloon allows the heat to pass through very quickly and warm the water. As the water closest to the flame heats up, it begins to rise and cooler water replaces in the bottom of the balloon. 
The cooler water soaks up more heat and process repeats itself. In fact, the exchange of water happens so often that it keeps the balloon from ever popping. The suit on the bottom of the balloon is actually carbon. The carbon was deposited on the balloon by the flame, and the balloon remains undamaged. I hope you enjoyed my experience.